Hi guys, guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Philip, and today I'm going to be showing you a game that you can make on Scratch. Um, so, once you click the Create New Project button, what you will want for this project is you have a cat and a mouse that you see from the top. Like, you have a top view of the cat and a top view of the mouse. And then you're going to make the mouse always go to your mouse cursor. And then the cat will always move towards the mouse. So first, let's delete this sprite because it's not from the top view. And let's get a cat that you can actually see from the top. So you see you have this cat right here. You can see from the top. And you also have to get a mouse that you can see from the top. Oh, well, there's only one mouse, and you can see it from the top. Now let's make the mouse a bit smaller so it's more realistic looking. And now when you have the mouse the right size you want, and the cat, if you want to change the size, go ahead. I'm not. And before we start anything, let's pick a background because it'll look better. And here, I kind of want this blue sky. Um, of course, you can pick whatever you want, but I'm just going to go ahead with the blue sky. Now, let's make the mouse always go to the mouse cursor. So, like always, you start your program with a when green flag clicked, and we are going to be using a forever block. And whatever you put in the forever block, the code that you put in the forever block will always run. That's why it's called the forever block. And in the forever block, we're going to be putting the go to mouse pointer block. And when you run it, you see the mouse always goes to the mouse pointer. Now that we got the mouse to do what we wanted it to do, let's focus more on the cat. So, of course, like always, like I said, you get the win, green flag clicked, block, and you're also going to be using a forever block for this one, too, because you want the code to run forever. What you put in that forever block is going to be, what you put in the forever block is the uh, points two words. And make sure you change this to the mouse. The mouse is called mouse1. So you have to make it mouse1. And then we want it to go towards mouse1. So you get the move 10 steps. You can change the 10 steps. Let's make it 5. And you see it does what we want it to do. It goes towards the mouse. Alright, now what we wanted to do, I didn't say this earlier. But I thought it would be cooler if when the if the cat touches the mouse, it sh the cat should say, I won, and everything stops, and the cat won. So how you do that is you go to the control, and you get this new block that I'm going to introduce called the if block. And you put it right there, and... Inside the if block, you see you have this thing you have to put. You have to put a block right there, and then you have to do, you have to put a block. If that happens, then what it does. So, in that space right there, you are going to put, you go to the sensing category, and you get the touching, and then you change it, and then you change it to mouse. And you put it in there, it fits, and if touching mouse 1, then, then we should say, uh, let's say I won for, I don't know, let's say 3 seconds, or 2. And when you start the code, the cat starts on the mouse, which is not good. So let's make the cat start on this side of the screen. 
and the mouse to start on this side of the screen. So we get the cat and get the motion category and we get the go to x blank and y blank one block. And the x, let's say we want the x to be over here, let's round it to about 170. And then the y, let's be 20. Alright? You put that here because if you put it in the forever block, it'll always stay there. So we don't want that to happen because we want it to go towards us. And as you saw, the cat starts on that edge of the screen. Let's do the same for the mouse. You get the same block. If you don't know, you get the mouse over here. And you look over here. Those are the coordinates of the mouse. Let's say negative 200 for the x and the y 0. And when you start, the mouse on this side and the cat on that side. This is just how we wanted to do. Now back to the cat and let's test the i1. So if the cat touches, it does say i1, but then the code keeps running. So after the cat1, it will be better if everything stops. So there's this block that says stop all. You can change it to this script or other scripts in Sprite. But for this one, we're just going to leave it to stop all because that's what we want it to stop. All right. And now let's say, for example, let's add this. If the mouse stays alive, which doesn't, which means that the cat doesn't touch it for 10 seconds, then the mouse says, well, the cat says the mouse won. Okay. So how we do that is we get another if block and we put it in the forever because we want it to do forever. We want it to consider doing what's in the if, if, what, if the if happens. So inside here, you put if, well, first you need to get this timer right here. When you go to sensing, you got to check it right here, click, and then you see the timer is running. You can move it around. Let's say I want to put it right there in the middle. And you take this because you will be needing it. Yeah, I know you can take that. It's pretty cool. And then inside of there, you see this can't fit in there. You need a triangular shape kind of thing. So you go to the operators and you get the block uh, greater than. And you say if timer is greater than 10, then the, the cat says the mouse won for two seconds. And we do the stop all one again, the stop all block. You put it and that's, and don't forget to go to the sensing and get the reset timer and put it at the very beginning. And as you see, the cat is chasing the mouse. The timer's up there. It's running. You can see the milliseconds and the seconds on the timer. It's going to keep going, maybe for hours. Oh, and then if the cat touches you, you see it says, I won. And now let's test it and see if we can stay 10 seconds alive. Let's see if it does what we wanted it to do. 7, 8, 9, and 10. The cat says, the mouse won, and everything stops. All right, when you're done, don't forget to name your project. Let's name it Escape the Cat. And you click here, the C Project page. And here you can write a description. Let's say you have to escape the cat. And you do that by moving the mouse around the screen. Once you wrote your description, if you want to write notes and credits, if you have got your idea for um, someone else, if you got the idea from here, just write it in here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for another cool project.